What's up guys? Today we're going to be going over the best Apex settings for mouse and keyboard and for PC. What's going to help you to uh, spot enemies easier, the graphical settings, some stuff outside of the game as well to help you improve your performance and especially your control of the mouse to sort of make the colors pop a little bit better. And I guess if you want your game to look like a giant lumpy potato like me, you can get that too. It's going to help you maximize FPS. These settings will help you to minimize visual clutter as well. Stuff like bushes, trees, all that kind of stuff, they're going to be less of a pain in the bum and it's going to help you to aim. It's going to help you to move properly and smoothly it's just gonna it's gonna be great it's gonna be great right but yeah let's get into it first settings we're gonna go over are the video settings these are probably the most important settings other than mousing it's like your sensitivity that kind of stuff but we'll go over that at the end would highly recommend you play the game in full screen uh windowed you can have problems with your pc and with the game if you're running in windowed it, it some people run borderless windowed again probably wouldn't recommend full screen would definitely be best can't go wrong aspect ratio i do not play in native i play in 16 10 at the moment i used to play in native aspect ratio so i'm playing on slightly stretched at the moment there's honestly not a huge difference in terms of performance or what you're going to get out of it a stretched aspect ratio is going to make your sensitivity feel ever so slightly different objects and enemies are going to appear slightly wider as they get up close but then you're rendering less pixels so enemies far off may be harder to spot especially if you're running like a super low res like say 4.3 and you're running like 1280 by 1024 that's quite a low res would not recommend that it's going to be pretty blurry but you're going to get insane frame rate yes but everything's going to look terrible and uh, it's going to be super hard to spot enemies like anything beyond like there they're just going to be like this pixelated blob so you find the the right balance for yourself between native res and a stretch res for the vast majority of players i would just go native res so i find that neither is better it's just personal preference it's something new to try you may have tried and prefer one or the other but yeah just stick with native if you're unsure brightness defaults 50 personally i feel it's a little too low it makes the shadows quite dark and if there's like a cave or some quite dark spots on the map you may struggle to spot the enemy in those areas so i bump my brightness up to like 65 to 70 anywhere in that bracket yeah, that's where i like to keep it it's personal preference it can wash things out a little bit but yeah anywhere from 65 to 75 up above 70 is getting a little too washed out for me fov now a very important one important not because there is a best fov but important because it will change the feel and look of your, your game quite drastically default is 90 i believe on pc not a lot of players play on default 90 there's a couple of good players pros that i know of that use 90 shiv is one shiv uses 90 uh, Raz, Crazy Raccoons Raz, he uses 90. I don't know if he still does, but he used to. Are you at a disadvantage if you use 90? No, I would not say that you're at a disadvantage. The benefits of a lower FOV are what you see will appear larger on your screen. But the negatives are you're going to miss out on extra peripheral vision if you choose a lower FOV. If you're unsure and you don't know what to pick, a safe bet would be anywhere between 100 and 110. That's a safe bet. For the longest time I played on 104, these days I play on 110. Is one better than the other? Personally, I don't think so. Personal preference. We'll change the feel of your sensitivity a bit so if you do change it prepare for that don't just change it back because you're like oh this feels horrible give it a go fov ability scaling that stuff like octane q all it's going to do is when you use octane q or bloodhound alt your fov widens as part of the ability and it will continue to widen it if you have fov ability scaling on disabled then your fov is not going to widen in those abilities it's just going to stay as it is if you have it on enabled it's going to widen leave it on disabled literally personal preference whatever you want sprint view shake minimal uh, I would say minimal is better than normal. It's just your camera's gonna bob left when you're running. Stick it on minimal. Can't hurt. V-Sync, disable. If you have V-Sync on, it can add a degree of input lag. You can use V-Sync in NVIDIA control panel if you've got it set up properly and it adds very minimal input lag. But that's only if you really want to enable V-Sync and I wouldn't recommend it anyway. It's not that great. NVIDIA Reflex. Enabled or enabled plus boost if your graphics card supports in a, in a niche case causes problems for you turn it off adaptive resolution FPS target leave it It's just going to retroactively change your resolution to hit a FPS target so Say you set 150 and your PC is really old it can't handle it It's going to retroactively change your resolution so that your PC can hit your frame rate goal leave it off AA personally I like it off if you have it on I find it it blurs things don't like it texture streaming budget now This is one of the biggest options in here personally. I have mine at none, but I would say I'm in the minor I think most players would probably use anywhere from very low to high. Have a look at your graphics card, see how much VRAM you have. You can literally set it to the same as your card. But for me, none feels better than having it on anything else. That could just be uh, my PC, it could be a bit of a niche case, but yeah. Texture filtering, leave it a bilinear. And then disabled, low, low, disabled, disabled, low, low, disabled, low. You don't need any of this stuff on. Having it all on low or disabled is gonna increase your frame rate. But if you want your game to look nice, the best thing to bump up without a doubt is your texture streaming budget. It's gonna make your game look much nicer here look look at my game right now this is texture streaming budget off everything looks like a lumpy potato 
which I don't mind. Now we turn it up to insane. Everything looks less like a lumpy potato. It looks nicer, a bit sharper. You'll really notice it, like especially on the new map. Set it to what your PC can handle. If you feel no difference between off and on, just leave it on. Can't hurt. I think that's everything for the video settings. Very important. Right now, I'm gonna go over some window settings that we can change. I think are pretty important. So let's jump over there. All right, here we are on Windows. Let's go over the first Windows settings. You just wanna hit your Windows key, type in mouse. You wanna go to your mouse settings here. Go to additional mouse options. You wanna go to pointer options. Select a pointer speed. There's 11 notches here. You want on the sixth notch okay this is where it is by default enhance point of precision i've just turned it on here for the sake of the video untick this untick it you want that off what it does is it adds mouse acceleration and you don't want mouse acceleration apex legends may have raw input on by default now i'm not sure i know games like valorant do have forced raw input so even if you had this tick it would have no effect but just turn it off and the next thing that we're going to change you're going to bring up file explorer go to your local disk go to users Click your username, like the uh, the profile that you're on. So for me, that's my name. Then we're going to go to save games. Then we're going to go to respawn, apex, local. And then we're going to go into, and then we're going to go into video config.txt. And what, what we're going to be looking at here, so setting stream memory, this number will just be default to whatever you've set in game for your texture streaming budget, okay? For me, because I have it off, it's set to zero, but it'll be set to like dependent on the number. Just leave that one alone. LOD switch scale, this is another one that you can change manually. Now what LOD, our LOD switch scale does, it will decrease the quality of what renders in your game. I don't, I'm not sure exactly the specifics of what it does, but you just want to turn it down. By default, fold it might be on 0.6 turn it down to 0.3 this is not 100% necessary but it will help your game's going to look more like a potato like mine but if you're okay with that and you want maximum frame rate and maximum game feel set this to 0.3 or 0.35 okay here's the big one this is very important csm enabled this is your shadows by default this is set to one set it to zero what that's going to do is it's going to remove a lot of the shadows from your game naturally that's going to improve your frame rate by a bit the big thing here is removal of most of the, a lot of shadows and that's huge. Areas where you're going to struggle to see people, this is going to help massively. Once we've made those changes in here, what we want to do is we're going to go Control S, so we're going to go File, Save, and we're all done. Now, once we're out here, very important, all these settings are not going to apply. You want to click it, right click, Properties, and then this box here, Read Only, needs to be ticked. Tick Read Only. What that does is it forces those settings to apply. If Read Only is unticked, those settings will not apply. But once you've ticked Read Only, hit Apply and OK. Every time your game boots, it's going to boot with the settings that you chose in here. If you want to change any settings in game permanently, like what you're going to need to do is you're going to come back to this right click properties untick read only hit apply okay and then you're going to either change your settings in here which is the hard way forget about that or you just open up your game go do it in game cl like close your game come back properties tick read only again apply and you're all done. One more thing. Probably recommend you guys at least give it a go. You may not like it, but at least give it a crack. If you're running an NVIDIA graphics card, open your control panel. You want to go to adjust desktop color settings. Scroll down. Uh, pick like your monitor that you're playing on. Digital vibrance. By default, this is set to 50%. Now what digital vibrance is going to do is it's going to make your game pop, look a lot more lively, look a lot more pretty. Is this going to enhance the power or the feel of the colors? Make them pop, make them uh, a lot stronger. I like to set mine to 80%. If you're going to use it, anywhere between like 60 to 90%. Above 80 is getting a bit too intense in color. And 50 just looks dull these days because I'm so used to having it up. So yeah, I run mine at 80%. On to the next block of settings. Audio, pretty simple explanatory you can do open mic push to talk whatever you want like personally for like for solo queuing ranked i like to open mic a lot because i don't have to push a button then and i can just talk to my teammates what i'm thinking what i'm what i want us to do if you are solo queuing and you're playing ranked and you're trying to like gain elo gain rank up maybe try open mic give open mic a go a lot of the time you're gonna get nice people sound effects leave it at 100 this is all the game sounds right this is all the stuff you want to hear footsteps gun sounds grenades all the shit you want to hear it's all lumped into sound effects volume a little bit unfortunate it'd be nice if it split up a little bit so that so that we could reduce the sound of stuff like ambient noises and uh, maybe gunfire. Imagine if we had a footstep audio slider right here. Wouldn't that be great? The rest here doesn't matter too much. Music volume, lobby music, dialogue. I would leave dialogue on because your characters actually make some pretty important calls. If you get shot at by a squad and a third party comes and they also shoot at you, your, your character's gonna say, another squad's like, oh no, another squad's here, you know? Leave that on. Sound in background, whatever. Whatever, whatever, Trevor. Windows audio configuration. I would say that for most FPS games, you want to play stereo. You do not want to play with surround sounds in any shape or form however apex is funky it's weird i've tried both surround and stereo audio i don't
don't know which is better. Most of the time, I can't hear when people are coming anyway. It's just Apex. If you want to give it a go, you want to try stereo instead of surround. I'll, sh I'll tell you how to do that. I'll show you how to do that right now. So the way to force stereo audio in Apex is to go to your game properties and go to your launch options. This is where you can kind of make some small tweaks and fiddle around with the game. Personally, the only launch option that I use is Dash Dev. And all that does is it removes the startup sequence with the intro video. You know, when you open the game and it tries to show you like this season's trailer, that removes that. If you want to force stereo audio for Apex, you need to type the following. Plus, miles, underscore, surround, space, two. What that does is it forces two audio channels. That's what the two is. So if you want to try stereo, Give that a crack. Another thing to note with audio in FPS games and shooters, this is a bit of a hotly debated topic and there's not like a clear definitive answer, but I'll tell you what I do and what I think is best. Try to use stereo headphones. Don't use built-in surround sound software. If you use it and it works for you and you prefer it, that's totally fine. Keep using it, okay? It might be worth just trying it with it off. If, if you like it, that's fine. Keep it. If you're unsure and you don't know which one you prefer, use stereo. Our next settings that we're going to go through is still pretty important before we leave like the, the most important stuff to the end we're gonna go through our gameplay settings i'll quickly buzz through them interacts prompt style compact default whatever you want leave it however you want it just changes the pop-ups when you try to interact with different things button hints turn them on turn them off whatever you want crosshair damage feedback this is a personal preference one i use x with shield icon i've tried it with off for ages it's whatever use whichever you prefer give it a fiddle see what you like damage numbers i prefer stacking i would not recommend having it off some people use off but very few ping opacity i prefer faded default can be like quite obstructive if it's on your screen and you can't it's blocking off a lot of what you're trying to look at obituaries that's it like the kill feed in the top right leave it on minimap rotation on or off whatever you want i like to have it on weapon auto cycle on empty i leave it off Auto sprint off, double tap sprint off, jetpack control. I have it on hold. I prefer hold over toggle quite a bit. In fact, I would say that to hold is probably going to be better for the vast majority of you than toggle. So if you got it on toggle, give hold a crack. That's just for uh, with Valkyrie. Incoming damage feedback. I have it on both. More info. Why not? It doesn't really clutter your screen. Turn this off for the love of God. Please turn that off. Don't have it on. What that's going to do is it's going to close your menu if you get shot. Just have it off. Pop up, pop up. I have it off. Off. Disable, disable, on, disable. You can do whatever you want with these. Colorblind mode, I used Tritonopia for the longest time, but now I just have it off. And you can see the rest there. They don't really have any impact. Now, the big one for those on mouse and keyboard, your mouse sensitivity, very important. I'm using a new sensitivity right now, 0.6 at 1600 DPI. Let's first go over how to calculate your DPI, which all it is, it's your, it's your in-game sensitivity times by your mouse DPI. So whatever you've got it set to. So for me, 0.6 times 1600, that is, is 960 so my edpi is 960 i would recommend an edpi of anywhere between 800 to 1600 if you go outside either of those ranges you're going to be on the extreme end of either low sensitivity or high sensitivity that may cause issues for you if you want an even more narrowed range that's kind of close to the sweet spot anything between 900 and 1400 edpi but right, let's say you're running 400 dpi which is common especially for a lot of pro players that would be a mouse sensitivity anywhere between 2.2 ish and 3.5 you loot someone you, you kill them you run up to loot and when you loot it uses your desktop sensitivity or your your dpi your mouse dpi to determine how sensitive things are going to be in the in the loot box so if you got it set to 1600 which i do it's going to be quite sensitive it'll be very fast use what you want uh if you're unsure just set it to 800 right in the middle and you're good to go to finish off our mouse sensitivity settings you've got the ads mouse sensitivity you can have it per optic you can fiddle with that as much as you want i haven't adjusted them at this point i've actually never adjusted them but at this point i leave it all on default all right so the ads uh, mouse sensitivity multiplier i would just leave that at 1.0 mouse acceleration have it off please out of all the pro plays in like every fps game you can probably count on one hand the number of players that use mouse acceleration i would say the reason why it's almost universally accepted to have it off is because you can be much more consistent without mouse acceleration mouse invert off probably lighting effects whatever on off doesn't matter uh and then for your this stuff down here find scroll wheel up to do tap straight we've got a whole video on that so if you want to go check that out jump scroll wheel down helps you hit b hops more consistently and and yeah, the rest is just personal preference. I think that pretty much wraps everything up. This should help everything with your PC a whole lot. So yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>